This is the AMD Fire Pro V4900 and we're going to overclock and benchmark it. Now before we jump into all the awesome benchmarking, let's take a look at this legacy graphics card and see what we're dealing with. The Fire Pro V4900 is a professional graphics card that was first introduced in late 2011. It's based on the Turks XTGL graphics processor, has 480 shading units, and supports DirectX 11. The card runs at 800MHz core clock and 1000MHz memory clock. The card is full height and features a single cooling fan. The V4900 comes with 1GB of GDDR5 memory and uses up to 75 watts of power. So let's get ready to overclock and benchmark this classic card and see what kind of performance we can push out of it. The first thing we did was update the drivers. Version 15.201.2401 are the newest ones AMD offers for this card, so we installed those. I'll put a link to them in the description. The overclocking utility we used is MSI Afterburner version 4.6.5. If you don't know MSI Afterburner, it's a totally free tool. I'll put a link in the description. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the basics of overclocking and how to obtain a stable overclock for your graphics card, I'm going to put a link to a video in the description that will take you step by step through everything you need to know. The program we used to test our overclock, both for stability and performance, was Unigen Superposition. It's also a free tool, link in the description. Now I'm going to put a list of known successful V4900 overclock values on the screen. Every card is different, but this should give you a good starting point for finding potential overclock values that may work for you. So, how did our test card do with overclocking? Well, after a number of tests, this particular card was able to reach a solid overclock of 905 MHz core clock and 1120 MHz memory clock. Aww. This isn't quite as good as I had hoped and falls a bit on the low side as far as the other example overclocks. We may be able to get an extra 10% or so out of this card, so let's run through a set of 10 benchmarks to see how well the Fire Pro V4900 performed. First up, it's Unigen Superposition Benchmark Tool. Running at the 720p low preset, base results achieved a score of 2365. After overclock, the score increased to 2627. That's an increase of 11.1%. So, not spectacular, but certainly worthwhile. Let's see how well some of the other benchmarks did. Next up, it's Bioshock Infinite Benchmark. Running at 720p in the very low preset, initial average FPS came in at 107.1. After overclock, average FPS increased to 118.8. That's an increase of 10.9%. So, similar results to be had here with Bioshock. Next up, it's Valorant. Running at 720p in all the lowest settings, initial average FPS came in at 149.4. After overclock, average FPS increased to 169.2. That's an increase of 13.3%, so it's not a bad boost to performance for this title. Next up, we've got Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker Benchmark. Running at 720p in the standard preset, base results achieved a score of 6405, or fairly high rating. After overclock, the score increased to 7078, also fairly high rating. That's an increase of 10.5%. So, similar results right in line with the other benchmarks. Next up, it's Mafia 2 Definitive Edition Benchmark. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, base FPS came in at 24.1. After overclock, FPS increased to 26.9. That's an increase of 11.6%. So it's another solid performance increase to be had here. Next up, it's CSGO Benchmark Map. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, base FPS came in at 127.4. After overclock, FPS increased to 140.4. That's an increase of 10.2%. Yet again, a very consistent boost to performance for CSGO. Next, for all our video editors out there, we've got Blackmagic Raw Speed Test. Testing the performance for decoding 1080p raw video files, initial results came in at 112 frames per second. After overclocking, results increased to 117 frames per second. That's an increase of 4.5%. So, not great, but we'll take it. Next up, it's Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition Benchmark. Running at 720p in the lowest settings, initial average FPS came in at 51.2. After overclock, average FPS increased to 57.4. That's an increase of 12.1%. So it's another solid boost to performance for Sleeping Dogs. Next, we've got Borderlands 3 Benchmark. Running at 1080p, 50% resolution scaling, and the lowest settings, initial average FPS came in at 24.0. After overclock, average FPS increased to 26.5. That's an increase of 10.4%. Yet again, another solid increase right around that 10% range for Borderlands 3. 
Next up, it's Grand Theft Auto 5 Benchmark. Running at 1080p, 50% resolution scaling, and everything turned down as low as it would go, initial average FPS came in at 84.5. After overclock, average FPS increased to 93.3. That's an increase of 10.4%. So it's another nice boost to performance for GTA 5. So there you have it, the AMD Fire Pro V4900 in all its glory. Certainly an old card with limited overclocking potential, but for a solid bargain bin 720p performer, not bad. Please feel free to leave a comment and thanks for watching.